What's up, YouTube family? How y'all doing today? God bless. I know you're looking at me like, oh man, he going crazy. He didn't cut his hair off his face. No, I had an interview today. So um, I put in my last videos, like a few videos back. It was called, uh, what's that video called? Chosen, one, chosen ones are gifted. And that's and that's the knowledge that we have that when you're about to go for a job interview, you want to have you want to look clean. You want to shave, you know, um, shirt, tie, resume. You want to give your you want to put yourself ahead of other candidates that that's, that may be applying for the job. As far as you know, looking clean, coming in professional, and having a resume. That's part of the matrix. That's that's what they're looking for. So you can have a desirable outcome. So you can have, put your best, so you can have the best possible chance of getting hired um, and um, before anybody else. That's just how it is. So I had a job interview today, so that's why I, that's why I look like this, and that's why I shave. My hair is going to grow back, but I just wanted to look good in front of the hiring manager or uh, the interviewer and just, just, just let them know how sincere I was about um, uh, representing their brand um, if hired, that, um, that I'm not playing no games, that you know, I'm going to come in and make a difference. And um, that's how it is that before I, before I was still or go rob, I would shave my face and um, you know, go in a shirt and tie and present myself as a reliable candidate for, for a respective job. Before I go steal from anybody, rob from anybody, commit crimes to, uh, to, uh, to uh, generate an in income, generate revenue for myself now. That when you're a child of God, that um, that you know you use the knowledge that you have as far as uh, making good choices to uh, to obtain meaning, meaningful employment. That we don't we don't we don't take from people. We don't we don't steal. We don't rob. That we we put all our faith in God. That um, seek the kingdom in God. Seek the kingdom of God, and everything will be added unto you. You know, seek God first. He do the rest. I get that from Billy Graham. That's my man. Um, he speaks to my soul from the grave, man. Uh, Billy Graham, a, a, real, a world renowned pastor, man. He he's on my heart all the time. He's on my mind all the time. And um, there's a lot of things that he said in his sermons that stick with me. That um, that um, I never forget. And I can hear him through, from the grave as far as the sin. He tells me, "Go ahead." Is he said? He said, "Is a season for sin." And the devil gonna keep paying away, keep paying your way. It's a season for sin, he said. But then comes the kickback, and then you gonna be paralyzed and you can't move because of the sin. He said, "So go ahead, commit sin." He said, "But just know it's a kickback, and I just don't want to commit the sin, so I don't gotta feel that kickback." I didn't listen to Billy Graham, and he's dead. He's in the grave right now, but his he he his his message was so sincere. It was so powerful that I still think about what he, I still think about his sermons and how they convicted me, convicted me. And I don't have to be paralyzed anymore. I don't have to be in shame anymore. Just do the right thing. You don't got to be paralyzed. You don't got to be in shame. Make good choices. Carry God on your heart and Jesus Christ on your heart wherever you go. And you never got to feel shame because of the sin, because you're not going to commit the sin, because you want to honor God and Jesus Christ. You want to stand tall for them. So you're not going to commit sin because they, you know they're watching. Period. But uh, today's video is going to be about, um, it's just going to be about just honoring God and loving God and, um, I'm gonna talk about the uh the world, I mean the movie Leave the World Behind by Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. I touched on it in my last video. It's too much, it's two more scenes I want to touch on today, real quick with y'all. And um, I just want to talk about God. It's in a, in a couple current events, but I want to you know keep it solely about God and how good he is. And you know, even if you're suffering like I am right now, that you find meaning in the suffering. You find meaning in it. You know? And the meaning that I found in my suffering was God will not be mocked. He will not be mocked. That even as I haven't touched a woman in 41 months, that I was still smoking weed, right? I still had lust in my mind, right? I was still not forgiving my enemies and I wanted God to punish them, right? 
In the Bible, it says you forgive people who trespass against you. If you don't forgive people who trespass against you, then God won't forgive my trespass. So I was still kind of in sin that even though I honor God and love Jesus Christ, I was still doing things that God didn't like, smoking the weed and all that. But I'm, I'm clean. I've been, I've been, I'm clean. I haven't, I haven't smoked weed in about what three, four months now. In my couple, 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 couple of live uh, of my last videos, I told you I wasn't going to smoke weed no more. That I was going to stay true to my audience, stay true to y'all. Haven't been smoking weed, haven't been high. But what's that, what's that video called? I told you I wasn't going to smoke weed no more. Um, what's that video? Chosen ones or. I think what this one is. Um, I'm sorry, is the video with the with the uh, with the woman being burnt at the stake? That's the picture. She on a stake. She on a, on a stake and being and being and she's about to be burnt alive. That's the picture. I want you to go back and look at that video. That's where I talked about um, that um, I repented for smoking weed, and that once I repent for smoking weed, I can't smoke that shit no more. You know understand? That I told God I wasn't gonna smoke it no more. So, uh, oh, the chosen ones have divine power. Go look at that video. Chosen ones have divine power. I said I wasn't gonna smoke weed no more. I haven't smoked ever. I haven't smoked since that video. So I like to uh, give you all the all fitting version of myself when I'm speaking. And if I if I was smoking weed and still getting high, I wouldn't have confidence to do this video because I told you I wasn't gonna smoke no more. Even though it's weed, it's still it's still a mind altering chemical that has some dependency properties. You know, you understand that that I can it's still it's still something that I can be very dependent on. And it can it, it, and it can change my mindset because of the chemicals. So I can't just say it was just weed. And plus, God said in the Bible, "Be of sober mind, be vigilant." The devil is like a roaring lion, seeking who he can devour. So why are you high? And I told y'all in that video, I wasn't gonna get high no more. So to do this video and to sit in front of y'all, and I know I've been smoking weed, I'd be doing y'all a major disservice. I'd be fraudulent because you told us a few videos back you wasn't gonna smoke that shit no more. Why are you still getting high? So now you can challenge um, uh, my 41 months of being abstinent. You can challenge that now. Because remember what I told y'all. If somebody tell you one lie, they can lie to you about anything. If they tell you one lie, they can lie to you about anything. So don't. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, January 15th, 2024, be 41 months. Uh, no sexual contact with women, no sexual intercourse. I'm still on semen, semen retention that, that the seed stays in, no masturbation. Um, can't even do that. That you can't even masturbate because you're still releasing the seed. You, you, you're spilling the seed. You're abusing yourself. That's in the Bible. God says, don't do that. Don't spill the seed. Don't abuse yourself. So you can't cheat and masturbate. You can't do that either. You just got to be pure. Keep all the seed in. You understand? That's just how it is. If you're really trying to get some things done, you're really trying to, you know what I'm saying, um, stand up for God, impress God. It's not about being better than the world or being better than anybody and say, oh, I have any, I don't have any kids. Oh, I haven't had sex in this many months. I'm not doing it for the world. I'm doing it for God. Why would I want to try to, uh, 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 why would I, why would I want to try to be better than somebody that I'm trying to help as far as the people of the world? Why would I try to put them down? Well, I'm, oh, this is me. This is what I'm doing. That shit don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. I can still, I can still die go to hell for sin. You understand? So I would never speak this on my videos and try to be better than you. That's not my. That's not my agenda. That's not the objective. My objective is to bring you on board with me so we can honor God. That if I'm trying to be better than you, that I'm doing a major. I'm, I'm doing you a major disservice. If I'm trying to if I'm, if I'm if I'm trying to shine on people, I'm here to be the sacrifice for you. I'm ready to give my life for you. Why would I want to be better than you? And I and I die for you any second, any day, any hour. You know. I love the people. I love the world. I love the oppressed. I love the ones who are being persecuted, who needs help. I stand up for them. I stand up for y'all. So I never try to be better than you. I, I, I'm willing to die for you. Any second, any day, any hour. This body can perish. For you. So look, I'm going to get into it today. So the world, 
the movie leave the world behind it's two more scenes i touched on it in my last video about the subliminal messages so and, and i read on a facebook post about this particular scene but i wasn't uh about some, how somebody broke it down but i wasn't sure of it but what i've learned is you look at others perspectives on on things and they may be right and you could be wrong so when so in your in your journey in life um Always look at different perspectives before you come to a conclusion that just don't go by what you think because somebody else's perspective or they, um, uh, uh, um, or their idea could be right and you could be wrong, but y'all come together to, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to come to the right conclusion. So uh, this scene right here is when all the white Teslas was crashing. Remember when the, 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 um, the white family was uh, trying to find help and um, all the white Teslas uh was was all crashing was was there it was nobody in the car they was like they was they was um they they was operating by themselves it was nobody in the car and a white Teslas I mean, it was all white Teslas crashing just crashing kept crashing there was no drivers no passengers they was just crashing that the white Teslas the white Teslas Teslas was crashing so when I first seen that scene I just thought that it was the network that they was all connected to that it crashed the network that the, that the white Teslas was connected to that the, the network was was was, um, was compromised, so the cars just just you know just went out of control because the network crashed. But somebody uh, posted it up a Facebook post, and they said, "No, that's the that's a sign of the rapture. The rapture is when God come get all His people before He destroys the earth. What God said, tell His angels to seal one hundred forty four thousand, seal them before you destroy it before 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 um I destroy the earth, and God seals the one hundred forty four thousand. The dead in Christ rise first, and then the ones that's left on the earth, they get caught up in the clouds with Jesus Christ. And somebody was saying that's that's a sign of the rapture. Basically, the white Teslas was all the people of the light, was all the people of the light, all of all the pure souls. And basically, was wasn't nobody in them because they got called up. They got called up in the clouds with Jesus Christ. That uh, that was the rapture. That was seen. That scene was basically depicting the rapture. And it made sense that it made sense that they was all white Teslas. White is a sign of what? Pure. It was all white, all white Teslas. What is white? It's a sign of something that's pure, right? And 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 it was it was passengerless. It was no driver, no passengers. And during the rapture, that everybody that's, everybody that that whatever you're doing, if you're driving, if whatever you want to call it, that 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 guy gonna call you out right there and there. And that's it. So if you in the car, it's going to crash. If you in the car, it's going to rapture. It's, your car is going to crash. If 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 you if you're a, a part of the 144,000 that's chosen. Um, and it made sense that that scene was basically depicting the rapture. And I was like, that makes sense. That I'm not. I, that you know, I'm on the fence. You know, but I'm still believing that I'm, that it, from you know. Uh, from what I believe, that it was the the Teslas just malfunctioning because uh, the network they was under um, was compromised, and um, or it was the rapture, and that so you know it's it's, it's, it's two possibilities that make sense in, in that scene. So I just want to let y'all know that that's well with, with that scene with all the white Teslas crashing, that could be the rapture, the sign of the rapture. And when and if you don't know what rapture is, look it up. That's when God. Sales to 144,000 before he destroys the earth. The one, the dead in Christ rise first, then the ones that's left on earth, they go up in the clouds with Jesus. And then the angels come to, uh, destroy the earth during the rapture. Um, also, I want to talk about a scene when the black, the black husband, well, listen, I say the black husband, the black guy in the movie. Remember when they first, remember when they first came to the white couple, to the white couple's house and they needed shelter? Remember the scene when the black the, uh, the black guy went to open up the uh, the wine cooler or the wine the wine cabinet cabinet and he opened the drawer and it was a gun inside of there. That was basically showing how 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 white America how America has programmed black people to always carry weapons. If you notice in that movie, the uh, the uh, the white man he. Um, uh, he never had a, he never had a gun. The white the white man that was with his with his with his wife and and um and, and, and the white wife and the white children, he never had a gun or touched a gun or touched a weapon. The only one that really touched that that really touched a weapon outside of 
them going to uh, Kevin Bacon's house to get the medicine for the son that was sick was a black man. And remember when he when he when he went to the wine to the wine cabinet and and unlocked it and opened the drawer and there was a gun sitting in there. That's basically a scene showing how black people are, uh, how we are, how they how they basically programmed us programmed us to always want a weapon, always want a gun to feel protected. That we always got to be, we always we always have to be armed, black people. We always had to be black men. We always had to be armed with a weapon. That's why when he opened the drawer, it was a gun in there. It was a black man opening the drawer. It was a gun in there, basically showing that black people, black men, always believe they have a have, they had to have a gun to be armed or for protection. That's false. If you got God, that's the only protection you need. That God a, a wipe out a whole army for you. You just gotta believe and trust him that he can they, believe and trust he got your back. You know. And I would, that's 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 going to break them two break them two scenes down for y'all. There's it it additional subliminal messages in there. So as I continue to watch it, I will continue to do videos and like and show and show y'all all the subliminal messages they they trying to put out there. But they know because we're a sleep nation, uh, we in a uh, we're a nation that's in that's uh that's brain dead. We're a nation that's in a walking coma. We'll never see all the messages they put right in our face, straight disrespecting us because they know we ain't gonna figure it out. But um, also I want to let y'all know about the um. I'm in Philadelphia, PA. They have on the news I seen yesterday. They said, "Oh, it's a measles outbreak, and the ones that's 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 that's, that's highly at risk to get it is the unvaccinated." That's a lie. Basically, it's supposed to put in your mind that, "Oh shoot, that is a measles outbreak. If I don't, that I may get it if I don't get vaccinated." That's supposed that's it's designed for you to go to the doctors and get vaccinated. Don't take the vaccine. Don't take it. Please don't take it. Do not take the vaccine, please. How can you say you got a vaccine for COVID-19, right? And it's like seven different vaccines, right? For COVID-19. Then you say it's a measles, it's a measles outbreak. You should get vaccinated. So now the same vaccine that was taken for COVID is effective for the measles. You got to be able to put this shit together yourself. Leave the women alone. Leave the drugs alone. And tune in to, to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to, what, to um, all the lies they're putting out there. You have to wake up. That how can the a vaccine you had work for COVID? Now you're saying there's an outbreak of measles. Now you're saying that same vaccine is good for measles. No, it's a scare tactic. It's designed for you to panic and say, oh shoot, I'm not vaccinated. I might get the measles. I'm gonna go get vaccinated. It's designed for you to go down there and get vaccinated. Do not take the vaccine. Do not take it. They're telling you it's a vaccine. But do you really know what's in that syringe? Do you really, do you really know the chemical makeup of what they're shooting you up with? I can tell you it's a vaccine. All I got to do is put on a lab coat, um, have, get an office and put, did I, did I went to medical school and tell you take this vaccine? Right? right. Am I, am I Right. Knowing damn well it's not a vaccine. People go for anything. That's the programming. It's the programming. Well, he went to medical school. He looked professional. He can't lie to me. Didn't the president of the United States go to school? Doesn't he look professional? And he lies every time he goes to the podium. You just can't go for anything. Challenge everything. Don't be a sheep. Be a black sheep. Also, I want to. I just want to talk about uh, just God, man. God is your friend. God is our friend. Or He can be your enemy. It all is all is all is all up to you. That to be friends with God, it doesn't require you have. It doesn't require a car. It doesn't require money. It doesn't require good looks. It doesn't require status. All it requires is obedience. And God can be your best friend. He cool. He come hang out with you, make you laugh, um, uh, pick you up when you down, um, when you uh, when the world beating you up, he's there to pick you up unconditionally. He's awesome. You just gotta believe. He's not going to come down here and shake your hand and come sit with you. 
You just got to believe he's down here already sitting with you. Trust in him. God never goes back on his word. And it doesn't in the Bible say I will never leave you or forsake you. That I will be with you to the end. That's a fact. That's my man. And when I pray, I be so sad sometimes because I committed so much transgression against God, man. As far as my sin. That my past sin, even though I repented and I'm and, and I'm, I'm not forgiven, but I still feel bad. He, it's, it's like stealing from your best friend. Or sleeping with your best friend woman. Woman. You feel so sad and convicted and ashamed because he's so good and pure and he loves you so much. He just wants you to not commit sin and obey him. You know, so I just um, every day I wake up, I look to glorify God by not committing sin and help people and try to bring them souls to Jesus Christ. But through my um, represent, representation of Jesus Christ and uh, about making good choices and being a man of God, a man of the scriptures. That he that God counts on me, he counts on me to be, he counts on you too, to be an ambassador for Jesus Christ and him by your good works that's producing good fruit. Even with all the knowledge I have, even with the, the walk I'm in with Christ, that is every day I'm still learning. I'm still flawed. But every day I have a chance to make the to right all my wrongs and walk a straight path. Every single day I have a chance. I have a choice to make. Chase that woman, obey God. Get high, obey God. You know? It's just that simple. That's, that's, that's the free will. That's when the free will kicks in. That I can go left or I can go right. I can obey God or succumb to sin. I like obeying God. Just so I can feel clean, man. Just so my spirit can feel clean. And I can look you in the face right now and do this video. So, um, we soldiers for God. We are soldiers. What do king? What do kings do? What do bosses do? And and like like you know how 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 God he don't he don't bang with Satan. So what? So what do God? What God gonna do? He gonna send his servants, you, me, to go handling. Do kings get off their throne? All they, all they, all they, all they, all they send their men. Do bosses, do bosses leave from the table, or they send their men? You gotta think like, you gotta think like God. He a boss. He send his men. He sent me. He gonna send you. I love you very much, man. That's the video for the day, and I'm gonna let my hair grow back. I ain't go crazy. I'm just trying to look good for the interview, so don't, don't, don't panic. But I love you all very much, man. I want to say prayer. And um, I want to end in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for um, opening up the door for me. And if this and if um, this door is not for me, you open up more doors. And Father, I just pray that anybody that's watching the video, any sin that they may be struggling with, that um, that you help them, that I can help them, that, you, that they can be inspired by me, they can be inspired by others. To, um, to lead the sin behind and uh, honor you and respect you and obey you. And Father, I just pray that um, any suffering anybody going through, uh, when it may, may be financial, may maybe be health-wise, that Father, you just give them the knowledge, give them the courage, give them the hope to pull through it, to pull through any struggle, um, to, 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 to take the stronghold that Satan has over their mind, if it may be with substance abuse, if it may be with, um, with anger, uh, um, a lack of forgiveness that any stronghold Satan may have on any of our people that I pray father that, that, um, that you can remove those strongholds and let them know that there's only one God, only one true loving God. And he loves you and he loves them unconditionally. And that Satan's a coward. Satan's a punk. He's a sucker. And that, um, if they need help with anything in their life, that you're going to be there no matter what. 
and um, you, and they and they can trample on Satan. That's the power that you will give them. They can trample on Satan and take their life back. And Father, I just want to thank you for giving me the courage to stand up for the people, and um and um and be that beacon of hope for them, and um and to be honest with them, never lie to them, to get on my story straight up, or to get on the authentic version version of me at all times, as a representation of you and Jesus Christ. A representation of being pure, clean, and um, and um, out of sin. So I pray that you continue to help me, Father, be that strength and hope for people around the world. Be that strength and hope for people that's watching this video. That it is somebody that stand up for you. It is somebody that love you. It is somebody that teach you the gospel. It is somebody that's not afraid to die. It is, it is somebody that uh, that will stand up to Satan for them, and uh, and be that sacrifice, just like Jesus Christ. And um. I just want to say, Father, I love you very much. And I, just, I love you for everything. I love you for all the things you've done in my life. I love you for helping me break the bondage, breaking the change of smoking marijuana, um, breaking the bondage, breaking the change of lust, and um, helping me to stay um, firm on semen retention and not let me and not let me um, crash, um, not to let me give up, um, not let me succumb to, um, to Satan's tricks, the enemy's tricks, and trying to fulfill that fleshly desire what really is going to expire and the flesh is going to want to continue to be fed with sin. So Father, I pray and I'm very thankful for you helping me to restain, remain clean, help me stay clean and hopeful and, um, and out of sin. That's the main thing, Father. I'm just very happy that you helped me stay out of sin and help me not succumb to uh, any uh, temptation, any uh, sinful desires, any fleshly desires that um, you are my rock. You are my hero. You are my champion. And I love you with all my heart. And I will die for you any second, any day, any hour, without hesitation. I love you very much, God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. And I said that prayer for y'all, too. That I'm with y'all. We won. I'm no better than you. I'm with y'all 100% all day. Rock and roll. You know? But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Any questions you may have about chosen ones, you want anything you want to learn, I tell you. Um, and uh, I love y'all very much, man. Y'all, y'all be safe, man. Y'all enjoy your day, and uh, die to your selfish desires to help somebody else. That even if you gotta suffer for somebody else to be put up top, or for somebody else to have a good day or a good life through your suffering, do it. That is gonna be very, it's, it's gonna be very satisfying in the, in the end. But I love y'all very much. Y'all have a nice day.